I am going to reveal a closely guarded secret held by the Christians. This is what they already know, but they don't want you to know, or they don't want you to know that they know. And that's this. The Bible is bullshit. The Bible is bullshit, and they know it. We know that there can be, Christians know, that there can be no light without a light source. They know this. But yet in the Bible, Genesis 1, light is created before the sun. Now, they'll say that God can do whatever he wants to do, etc., etc., but they know that we know what light is. They know what light is, and they know where light comes from, and so light without a light source, they know. So therefore, they know that the Bible is bullshit. They also know that darkness is not a matter, it is not a subject, it is not a thing, it is the absence of a thing which is light. Yet somehow God divided the light from the darkness. He divided something from nothing. Which, even for the omnipotence of a God, is impossible because nothing is nothing. And something is something. And how do you divide something from nothing? So they already know it's bullshit. They also know, already know, that plants cannot survive without a source of warmth. And they know that where that warmth is coming from on our, on our wonderful planet Earth is the sun. But yet, plants existed before the sun. And they know that doesn't work, so they already know that the, world, uh, that, that the Bible is bullshit. They already know it. Few of any Christians will actually argue that the Earth is flat even though throughout the Bible we hear all kinds of statements about uh, wind coming from the corners of the earth, uh, the corners of the earth, the ends of the earth. It's repeated again and again and, and uh, described as a disc-shaped flat object. I mean, it's all throughout the Bible describing the world as being flat, having corners, and having ends, and they know that's not true, so therefore they already know that the Bible is bullshit. The Bible will tell us that the earth cannot be moved, but yet Christians already know that the earth rotates, wobbles, and moves through space. So they already know that the Bible is bullshit. If a Christian were to go to one of these rare countries, few countries, where leprosy still exists and become infected with leprosy, they would go to a doctor. They would not start butchering doves and spreading blood around. So the fact they would go to a doctor instead of go to some archaic uh, uh, ceremony of butchering animals, they already know that the Bible is bullshit and not the infallible Word of God. Humans already know, Christians already know, that human sacrifice is immoral. Yet we find here that human sacrifice was accepted and ordained by God. So, they already know that the Bible is bullshit. We already know, Christians already know, that murdering infants is immoral. But yet, in the Old Testament, as in the Midianite slaughter and the conquests of Canaan, uh, the Hebrews did just that. Israelites, whoever they were, they did just that. So, for a God of all goodness to command this immoral act, they already know that the Bible is bullshit. Along the same lines of the Midianite slaughter, well, Christians already know that sexual abuse of little girls is immoral, and it's wrong. They already know this. But yet in the Midianite slaughter, they were able to take home uh, any young girl who had not yet known a man, and seeing that the marriage age back in those days was not the same as it was now, we're talking about any girl who had not yet known a man, so we're talking about any child from the age of birth to marriage when marriage happened very young and so they already know that sexual abuse sexual servitude of young people is immoral 
So they already know that the Bible is bullshit because they already know that their God commanded this immoral act or condoned this immoral act. So they already know it's bullshit. No Christian will stand up at a rapist's trial and demand that that rapist marry their victim. So they already know that the Bible is bullshit. Christians don't tend to stand silent when in the modern era acts of genocide are attempted or completed. We already know that genocide is immoral, has always been immoral, and always will be immoral, and yet they will defend the acts of genocide in the conquest of Canaan. They already know that it's bullshit. Christians stand opposed to abortion, but yet in the Bible we actually find commandments and instructions of how and when to grant abortion so therefore Christians already know that the Bible is bullshit otherwise they'd be supporting abortion under certain circumstances so they already know the Bible is bullshit Christians today know that slavery is immoral yet Jesus Christ himself said that slaves are to obey their masters. So, and yet no Christian that I'm aware of will actually stand by and prescribe to the atrocity of owning a fellow human being as property, so therefore they already know that the Bible is bullshit. Christians understand that self-mutilation is a act of emotional and psychological distress in anybody they would find actually cutting or mutilating themselves well they would be rushed to psychological counseling yet the Bible commands that if your Jesus himself commanded that if your right hand offends you cut it off if your eye offends you pluck it out so they already know that the Bible is bullshit no Christian will call a bat a bird we understand and they understand that a bat is a mammal. So they already know that the Bible is bullshit because bats are called birds in the Bible. Very few churches will actually require that women enter the church with their head covered. So the fact that they don't require their women to walk into that church with their head covered, they already know and are proving to us that they know that the Bible is bullshit. <laughs> Few of any churches will actually require their women to remain silent in church, and in fact some churches actually have women as a pastor and in leadership positions, even though this is strictly condemned by Paul the Apostle, they already know that the Bible is bullshit. No Christian will stand up and, and advocate that their disobedient children be put to death in spite of the fact that that is exactly what the Bible commands them to do so they already know that the Bible is bullshit. So the Christians will defend the Bible even though they know it's bullshit and even though the very Bible itself contradicts their very beliefs and contradicts that which they hold to be true.